Welcome into our third episode of Jaguars Throwdown presented by Publix. Thrilled to have two new members of our newest draft class joining us today, Ben Barch and Shaq Kornman, ready to play. Looking to join winners with DJ Hayden and Quincy Williams. Guys, you ready for this? I'm ready. Ben Barch, 20 seconds for this argument. Offensive line is the most important position in football. Why? Well, it has to do with the skill level um, of the players. Um, it really begins with that. As a center, you're snapping the ball. It's where it comes from. And, you know, it's it's who wins up front that wins games. Um, that's where it begins. It's the closest to the football at all times. And uh, without an offensive line, I mean, it's hard to win. The best teams have won it all. Great offensive Hi. lines. Pretty good, Shaq. You nervous? No, that was a, that was pretty good, though. I ain't going to hold you. I think Why I'm is linebacker? the most important position in football? Linebacker is the most important position in football because you got to do both, baby. They don't go unless we go. The guys up front, them big dogs, we got to put them in a position to make plays. Them up, the small dogs, the fast dogs behind us need us just as much. So without us in the middle, there's a disconnect. And when there's a That was good. Shaq, you were done for, Ben. Jack, you pause. Can you redo your argument? Oh, I at risk. I pause. You pause, and it was real good too. Just repeat what you said. Because the big guys up front, you know, you gotta put them in position for them to make plays, and then the fast guys behind us, you know, they need us just as much. So if we are not in the middle to coordinate and, and to do what we supposed to do, then there's the disconnect. And when there's a disconnect, you lose the game. You know. Boom. Ben, you had a solid argument, but Shaq just had more charisma, more passion. So how this, he got two how takes this at risk. 20 seconds to tell me what is the biggest rivalry in college football and why? Go. I got to say probably Ohio State and uh, Michigan. Um, just the amount of history in that rivalry, the massive fan base and alumni, and uh, just the crossing out of the letters every year. I mean, that's got to be one of the most iconic ones of all time, for sure. Hi. All right, Shaq, what is the biggest rivalry in college football and why? Go. Miami versus Florida State, because we're <laughs> in the same state. We don't like them and they don't like us. You know, even outside of football, we got a second take to make sure the coast is clear because it's real. It's just not between the green lines sometimes. You know, that's a real rivalry. You know, it's different. And time. I might have to go with Ben on this because I agree more, but Shaq, your passion and enthusiasm, I appreciate it. But I'm going to go with Ben here just because of the answer. So we're one to one. You good with that? Fair. Keep it fair. One to one. I'm going to tell you a player who is currently on this roster two truths and a lie. You have to tell me what the lie is. Shaq, Man. you're going first. We're going Kalevon Chason in your draft class. Kalevon mm -hmm. Chason played at LSU, played high school football in Austin, Texas, and he has an Instagram for his dog. What is the lie? I'm pretty sure he really does have an Instagram for his dog, so I'm going to go with the high school in Texas thing. Boom. Well done, sir. Do you like follow it. his Instagram? Negative. Uh, not yet. Negative. I think it's worth a follow <laughs> because I followed him this morning. It, it's a good account. It's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Ben, chill out, bro. Two truths yeah. and a lie. This one you better get right because it's head coach Doug Marone. Doug Marone is from the Bronx, is an avid collector of baseball, baseball memorabilia, or formerly coached at Auburn University. What is the lie? Why is Auburn University? Syracuse. There we go. You know your coach. Yeah. High game. High that game. was a good one. Did you guys know that he collected baseball memorabilia? In inference, just character, just guessed it. <laughs> All right. Tie game right now. We're going Jaguars trivia. Let's go, Ben. You can win it right here. Oh, yeah. What is the name of the Jaguars mascot? It's a French name. <laughs> it's like yeah. two names, isn't it? Multiple. There's yeah. like a day in it. A day? Uh, uh, it's like there's multiple names. Ty, Jack, 
What is the name of the Jaguars mascot? I'm going to use Ben's clues. <laughs> I got Friend, them, bro. In the day of the week, it must be Friday. Nah, I can't. I can't even put it together. Jackson DeVille. Come on, guys. <laughs> I knew it was something. You didn't say anything close to that. <laughs> Bill, you know, it's Jackson. Uh, that's Jackson, finish, you know? come on. You put it together. Get it. Trivia question number two. Ben. Yeah. Which is the one opponent the Jaguars have faced more than any other team? I'm going to go with Colts. Wrong. Good guess, though. Shaq, your turn. What is one opponent the Jaguars have faced more than any other team? Mm, he stole my guess. Very good guess, by the way. Very good right, guess. Thank you. Thank you. The Titans. Boom. Uh, that's my guess. Damn. Did you guess that or did you know that? No, I guessed it for real. You guessed? Well, you won. Jaguars oh, yes? down. Winner number three, Jack Corman. Congratulations. Congrats, Jack. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be back.